So let's take a look at the brand new Fujifilm 50mm F1. What's up? This is John from John Best for Photography, and if you're new to the channel, you already know I'm a Fujifilm enthusiast, Fujifilm creator, wedding photographer, and Fujifilm YouTube content creator. Everything you see here on the channel from my full wedding day videos to the content I'm making right now is filmed and shot on Fujifilm cameras. So obviously I'm a little biased and I absolutely love Fujifilm. <laughs> but it's time to get hype because we have a brand new lens coming up, which is the 50mm F1. So for anyone who does events or weddings like myself, the 50mm F1 is actually super exciting because we haven't had a lens that is that fast. I think the closest thing to it is the 56 F1.2, which that lens is my absolute go-to. I love that thing. I'm always using it at wedding speeches or if it's getting dark or just for any nice portraits. But with the announcement of the 50 F1, the real question is, is should you be upgrading? What is this lens about? How do we feel about it? So let's go over just my first impressions of the lens. Also, if you love Fujifilm, make sure to subscribe to the channel because that's all we talk about here is creative entrepreneurship and using Fujifilm cameras. So for more information on the 50, stick around because we got some cool stuff coming up. But let's go ahead and talk about the 50mm F1. So the 50mm comes in around $14.99. And for anyone looking for a fast, longer focal length, this is gonna be a great lens to check out. 50 millimeter is about a 75 or so full frame equivalent. The weight of the lens is just around two pounds or so. The filter diameter is 77 millimeters. And it's a pretty large lens looking a little bit closer to the 90 millimeter. Here's a comparison of its size with the 56. And you can see there, it's actually pretty big comparative. So be ready to add a little bit of extra weight to your current kit if you're already shooting with Fujifilm. As far as the three things I love most about the lens, obviously we have to start out with the most obvious, which is the bokeh. So shooting at something like F1, the first question out of your mind is how does the blurry background look? And I can tell you it looks really great. You can see here in these photos, I was able to get nice blurry backgrounds. And since this is one of Fuji's fastest lenses, you know that the background is gonna look great in all of your photos. And you can also use it in low light situations. You can notice here in some of these low light photos too that there's kind of a almost cat eye look to some of the lights in the bokeh. I'm not sure if that's across the board or if it was just the lights that I was shooting. I'm gonna test it out some more and we'll see how that looks. But here's a good look at it for you all so you can see what it looks like. But the depth and the blur I was getting out of the photos, especially for portraits, was awesome. And I can't wait to use this more often, especially at weddings. Generally, this lens is gonna replace my 56 because I use it during speeches, toast, and for portraits during the wedding day as well as with the ceremony. Next up, this lens is so, so, so sharp and I absolutely just love how sharp it is. So basically everything I shot with the 50 mil F1 was at F1 because I mean, why else shoot it? We wanna see what it looks like. And I was super surprised at how sharp everything looked. Here are a couple more examples and you can see everything is tack sharp and then you have the nice blurry background on top of it. So yeah, I was I was kind of surprised at how sharp it was. It's it's nice. I really I there's nothing more I can say. I was just like, wow. <laughs> and last but not least was the autofocus. The autofocus on this lens is awesome. And since it's using the newer motors, I mean, it's just great for video, it's great for everything. Here were a couple of clips of me using it for video and it just looked great and the focus was staying where I needed it to. And not only that, but I was using it with the X-T4 as well. So you have the IBIS in there and most of this stuff was actually handheld. The only thing I will say about the autofocus on this lens is it seems like it's a little bit loud. Now, I don't know if that's me or I don't understand film and using lenses for film because I don't do a lot of film myself. I'm mainly a photographer, but here's a clip. Just listen to the sound of these motors. So let me know in the comments below if that is loud or if it's pretty normal for some lenses. Cause yet again, I'm used to like using the 23 F2 and 35 F2, which are like absolutely silent when they focus. So those are the three things I absolutely love about the lens. It's sharp, the bokeh looks great, and the autofocus is amazing. It's awesome for photos and video. 
I would say the only thing that I don't really like about it is that it's a bit on the larger size. Now, as a Fujifilm user, me personally doing weddings, the main reason I got into the Fujifilm system is because it's very small, but also extremely powerful. So to me, using the lenses like the 23 F2, the 35 F2, that's like, mwah. <laughs> that's just the reason I got into Fuji, you know? So this is on the larger side, even comparative to the 56. You can see them here next to each other. It's a pretty big difference. So while this is something I'm definitely going to use at weddings, it probably is only gonna be during the reception time, during speeches, things like that, when I need that low, low f-stop and don't have a lot going on. I'm not switching lenses very often. So that was a first look at the 50mm F1. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it and if it's a lens you're looking to purchase. Thanks again for hanging out and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more information on the 50mm F1. I have a couple of cool shoots that I'm working on right now for you all to show you how the 50 works in real action. So nothing like a good BTS of a photo shoot. Thanks again for hanging out and I'll be with you all next time. All right, peace.